Hey guys, so today we are making an Ant-Man and the Wasp Bay Cake. Ba 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 Bay Cake. Now my goal is to have all of the Marvel Cinematic Heroes finished by the time the Avengers 4 movie comes out. I think these cakes look so cute. I love the way that their helmets came out. And I love this style of cake, so let's get started. Now to create these cakes, the first thing that I had to do was draw Ant-Man and the Wasp. If you want to recreate these cakes, you can find the drawings on my Quali Pops Facebook page, as well as all of my other baked cake drawings. So download it there. Now I'm excited for this movie because I love the two leads. I love Paul Rudd, like everything about that guy is so charismatic. He's so attractive, his piercing blue eyes, the tone of his voice, the way that he carries himself. That's exactly why Phoebe Buffay decided to marry him. Do you remember that episode from Friends? Their wedding was on point. To create my Ant-Man Bay cake, I'm using a red velvet box cake because the costume's mostly red and I wanted to match the cake to the costume. And I leveled off my cake, then I placed my basic bay shape on top and cut it out with a paring knife. Now when I'm cutting away the shape, I'm making sure that my knife is straight up and down. I just want to make sure that the sides of the cake that I'm cutting away are at a 90 degree angle so it's not like this, you know? You don't want to cut like this. Don't cut like this. Place my first layer of cake onto my cake stand. Then I just added some buttercream into the middle and spread it out using my offset spatula. Then I added on my next layer of cake. Now with a paring knife, I started to carve away my bay shape and the first thing I did was round out his head. So I took my paring knife and just worked it all the way around the face. I just rounded out the edges of the cake to give it a sort of like half dome shape. And when I was finished with the head, I started to work on the body. I'm just carving away a large portion of the cake because I want Ant-Man's body to be lower than his face. After that, I rounded out the edges and made sure that there was a separation between his hands and the rest of his body. I made sure there was a separation between his head and his body as well. Once I was happy with my shape, I added on some buttercream to the top and then I smoothened it out with an offset spatula. Now this is a crumb coat, but it's also a fix-it coat of buttercream. I'm not putting another layer of buttercream, I'm just making sure that the first layer fixes all of the places where I carved away too much cake. It doesn't look as pretty as when you put two coats of buttercream, but I don't give a hoot. I made this coat of buttercream as nice and as flat as I could. Then I placed it into the fridge to chill and I started to work on my wasp bake cake. Now the design of the wasp costume is very similar to the Ant-Man costume, but it's a lot more sleek. I love Evangeline Lilly. She was at the first Comic Con that I went to, which was back in 2004, I think. She was promoting her television show at the time, Lost. That was such a long time ago. When I found out that she was going to be playing Hope Van Dyne, I was excited because I really wanted her film career to be fruitful. First she got that like role in The Hobbit where she was an elf, now she's in the MCU. She's one of the founding members of the Avengers in the comic books. Now she's coming into the cinematic universe to play. All the bake cakes start the exact same way. If you've seen the beginning of one bake cake, then you've seen the beginning of all of them really. So even though this is new footage, it's gonna be recycled. <laughs> so I divided my cake into two equal layers. Then I added the basic base shape on top and cut it out using a paring knife. Everything's almost the same. I'm excited that the Wasp is a title character in this movie. When I was watching the first Ant-Man movie, I was just like this, like... She was so good! And they sidelined her for this guy who wasn't even passionate about insects. Why would you do that? Oh, it's because he's so charming, that's why. Now because she's a title character, the action's going to be upgraded because she knows what she's doing. She used this tiny little salt shaker as this huge old weapon. Salt's already a good weapon when you're like battling somebody who has high blood pressure. You just sprinkle it all over their food and boom, they're gone. I've made so many of these cakes that I've got my carving down. I know that I want to start with the head, round out the sides, make sure it's a dome shape. Then I start to work on my body. 
not my actual body, which is why I'm still like flimsy everywhere. And one thing I do always emphasize is that the head is a complete circle. It's very easy to flatten out the face at the bottom because of where it is on the shoulders because these bake cakes have no necks. So I always make sure that it is a complete circle and not cut off at the bottom. Yeah, does that make sense? Hopefully. I placed these into the fridge for about two hours and I watched Ant-Man, the first one. I wanted to make sure that I was like up to date for the next movie. What I realized was as good as Evangeline Lilly and Paul Rudd are in the first movie, the other side characters are just as good. Michael Pena is like a steen stealer and I really like T.I. as an actor and I have only seen him in like two roles and they were very small roles, but I think because I like him a lot as a rapper, I want him to succeed in film and acting. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. After I watched Ant-Man, I started to cover both of my cakes in fondant. And these cakes were covered in the same two layers of fondant. Each of their heads were covered in grey, and both of Ant-Man and the wasp body were covered in black fondant. They have very similar looks. And I just used sculpting tools to emphasize separation between their bodies and their arms. Again, making sure that their heads were rounded at the bottom and not flat. Just completing the circle. And I cut away the excess fondant with the paring knife and then I placed one of the cakes into the fridge and started to create Ant-Man. To create this cake I just took all of the details that I drew out and I cut them out with fondant. I just took all of the details that I drew and then I cut them out on a piece of fondant. I'm attaching all of the pieces to my cake with a little bit of magic sauce at the back. Just applying them to the cake where they were on the drawing. It takes a lot of time to cut out all the detail, but I really want to make sure that I have all the characters ready by Avengers the next one. What is it called? What's the title? I think it's called Avengers the one with everybody. Now when I'm drawing my characters for the bake cakes, I like using 3D models, so that's why I like using action figures. It's harder to interpret all of the detail when you have to look at several pictures on Google search. So I actually spend money to buy the action figure. When I get invited to go out to a bar, it's like, do I want to spend $20 on a drink or do I want to spend $20 on an action figure? Mm, action figure. I got so much magic sauce right there, you see you guys? I don't need to go to a bar. I'm curious, is there something that you collect or you used to collect when you were younger? When I was younger, it was collecting Pokemon cards, but I'm older now and I got sucked into collecting comic book stuff. Now once I finished placing on all the pieces of fondant to the Ant-Man suit, I began to create his helmet. And when I was creating the Ant-Man helmet, there were some details around his mouth that I thought were a little too small, so I redid them with larger pieces of fondant. I use cookie cutters to create all of the different circles and I just use a cookie cutter that was the next size up to recreate the mouth detail. And I think it really improved his look. And through the visor that covers the Ant-Man helmet, you can actually see his eyes. So to simulate this, I added some circles of maroon fondant and gave each eye a catch light with some pink fondant. Because the eyes are maroon and not black and the catch light's a little pink, it looks like you're looking at them through like rose colored glasses. It looks so cute! Let's get to the wasp. Now I did the exact same thing, just cut out all the details I drew with yellow and red fondant. Now at the end of the Ant-Man movie, Hank Pym shows Hope Van Dyne the wasp costume. The way Evangeline Lilly's eyes light up when she sees the costume. I want someone to look at me that way. <laughs> Get someone who looks at you the way that Evangeline Lilly looks at the wasp costume. <laughs> if I could choose any sort of superpower, it would definitely have to do with flying. That's why I feel like I'm always jealous of birds. I'm always having to like walk on the ground and you guys get to use your wings to like walk in the air. I can't with you right now. <laughs> Now after I finished creating all of the fondant pieces on the wasp's costume, I started to build her mask. And the thing that I loved about her mask was that I framed her eyes with a separate piece of fondant which made her visor look even more 3D. Now this helmet had a lot of the same detail as the Ant-Man helmet, 
So I gave it the antennas and then just like that man helmet, I gave her two eyes and catch lights. So it looks like you can see her eyes through the visor. Once I was finished with the helmet, I added on four wasp wings to the side of my cake. And voila, the wasp. These are definitely bay cakes, except they're not my bay cakes, they're each other's bay. They're super cute, huh? If you want to see all of my Avengers bay cakes, there's an entire playlist for you in the description box. And I'm really happy to say that I can cross Ant-Man and the Wasp off of my bay cakes to-do list. I still have a lot to go. There's Captain Marvel, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't actually know if I'm going to do them because I might do them when Guardians of the Galaxy 3 comes out. But there are still a lot of characters to do because there's Doctor Strange, there's my three favorite characters from Black Panther, Okoye, Shuri, and Nakia. There's a Scarlet Witch, there's War Machine, Falcon, Bucky, Hawkeye, uh, Samuel L. Jackson character, what's in name? Nick Fury. There's so many characters I have left to do. And make sure you hit that notification button so you can see what I'm currently working on in the community tab and you can be updated when a new video comes out. And if you guys have checked out the community tab, all of my posts have come back. And I was super excited when I looked at it this morning. If you've seen the Ant-Man and the Wasp movie, what did you think? Who's your favorite character? I haven't seen it yet, but I think I really like Michelle Pfeiffer just because I really like Michelle Pfeiffer. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!